In the summer, this quirky small town in Alaska gets inundated with travelers from cruise ships. Visitors strolling down the quaint Main Street can find restaurants, art galleries, and gift shops, all nestled in historic cabins. Tucked in one of those cabins is a new business that's dividing this tourist town. We're not catering to stoner tourists. We've been open two months and uh, the sky hasn't fallen in Talakitna. And Joe McEnany is the co-owner of the town's first recreational marijuana store. It took him more than two years to open since Alaska's residents voted to legalize recreational pot in 2014. McEnany says the store follows the town's aesthetics, blending in with other wood cabins. He named the store High Expedition Company, a reference to the town's history as a staging area for climbing Denali. As you walk by, you might have noticed there's no pot leaves, there's no big flashing green crosses or anything. It's real subtle, and uh, we have sort of a speakeasy vibe going on here, which tends to fit the town. But those efforts aren't enough for other tourism operators, including Mike Stoltz, who owns a bed and breakfast. My thing is with the kids, you're trying to protect the kids growing up here. That was my number one point. Number two point is we have no law. So if somebody gets out of line, you know, like I mentioned earlier, the troopers an hour away. What are we supposed to do? Stoltz says the pot store should have opened outside the town's historic main strip. He also says that smoking marijuana in public is illegal and tourists aren't familiar with the state law. Alaska state troopers say they've issued no citations for public consumption of marijuana in the first few months the store has been open, but the rift isn't just among business owners. Christy Stoltz stands on the opposite side of her father and supports the marijuana store. I would be really surprised if people all of a sudden would judge the whole town because there's a marijuana shop. I think that, yeah, change, nobody likes change, so I think that's a big thing. One store causing a big ripple as the expansion of illegal marijuana industry spreads to the country's northernmost state. Robert Bumstead, Associated Press. It's a great place, y'all just...